You gotta keep the dice rolling when you're doing that thing over there, homie.
was, I don't even know, I was crazy. <laughs> Anna was a firecracker growing up. Hi. She's always been like our little sassy, spunky girl. My first performance was a jazz number. I was 11 years old. During the judges break, someone's pin on their jacket fell off and nobody saw it. 10 seconds into my dance, I get up and like slam my foot into the ground and the pin goes right up <laughs> into my jazz shoe. It's very cute because I just did not care and I was just living my life. <laughs> When I was little, my mom would say that I would dance in my sleep, <laughs> and I was such a wiggle worm. My first ballroom competition, I was 13 years old. I saw ballroom had rhinestones, and I was all over that. <laughs> it was a standout performance. The people that were there saying, okay, that, that girl's gonna go far. What I love about this girl right here is that she's doing something she loves for the first time. I'm super excited of what I've been able to do. It's worth it to chase your dreams. My first performance was when I was 13 years old and I was doing an improv performance. I was also like the youngest in my group because I was just that person. 13 year old Raylan, yeah, she's doing good, wow. Oh, wow, guys. The passion she has for dance, the hard work, the dedication, she's a superstar. You're the youngest in the group, and now you're the youngest in the group. I'm so you think you can dance. Girl, you're killing it. I mean, she needed some work, but I felt like she's conquered what she has. As a kid, I was very shy, very introverted. My first talent show, I was eight years old. I did not want to do it. The whole crowd, before she even came out, they're like, oh, six, oh, six. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, like, I'm like, okay, now I got to go off. This is crazy. But I was cute, though. That was a good pose. It was a really great feeling to actually see her out of her shell. Thinking of that performance, they cheered, they stood up, and I was like, wow, I'm going to dance for the rest of my life. <laughs> As a kid, I always knew I was going to entertain. I was always just smiling and happy and laughing, and I just wanted to dance. When you go to parent-teacher conferences, your son won't sit, he keeps dancing. <laughs> My first performance, I was dancing as a hip-hop clock, and I was going so hard on stage that my entire clock falls apart off of my body. And he keeps dancing, the crowd, wow. The lesson learned was it doesn't matter what happens, just keep going. I remember when I was younger, you know, little kids, they're all like sobbing on stage or they get frozen or whatever. And I just remember feeling like this is where I'm supposed to be. No! Okay. I already know what's coming on the chicken dance. The story behind it was the farm and some chickens and let's do some dance moves. He took over that stage, honestly. He literally had the music in him. It's crazy to watch this right now and then be like, I'm literally right here. Chicken Corner knew what he was doing. He was full of energy, and I think I need a major channel into that. As a kid, I was choreographing dance recitals in my living room with like costume changes in the kitchen. I was like four years old. I always had big ambitions. Well, Bo was very happy to be on stage. It was so fun watching him. We're just like, oh my gosh, that's our kid on stage. Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm shaking my hips right now. Yeah, shimmy, live. They knew I was a diva. Yeah, they said, give him the diva moment. And I was like, come on, come on, come on. Look at him, he's living. I still dance like that, I'm just tall now. I've always just known this is what I wanted to do. I think if my younger self saw me to where I am today, I think he'd start crying. I mean, I grew up with a family of dancers. His first recital, he was probably five years old. He just had this spark about him. <laughs> uh, sorry. <laughs> I'm not just doing this for myself, I'm doing it for... I'm doing it for them too. My family's my rock, and they're literally the reason I've gotten to where I am today. <laughs>